In this video, I'm going to show you how you can create an animation like this. These animations are simple and you can create them less than 3 hours. And in my experience, clients willing to pay a lot for this type of animations if you can create them properly. By the way, how much would you charge a client for this type of reel? You can answer it in the comment section. This video is a breakdown and it's not a full tutorial and it's good for those who know the basic. Even though this entire animation was done with the basic scale and position keyframe. So I think everyone can follow. Now let's begin. Alright so here we are instead of Adobe After Effects and now let's begin. So let's just watch the animation uh, first. Thinking about launching your own meme coin? A successful launch isn't just hype. It needs a solid marketing strategy. Animated videos grab attention, build trust, and bring life to your meme. Want to stand out in a crowded market? DM or comment meme to get started. Thinking about so these are just some uh, super simple animations for the beginners who want to get into the, I would say, content creation world. And the main top of this and the main movements are basically done with the position and scale. I really didn't do anything you know special in here any um you know crazy effects ca crazy camera movement everything is minimal but the results are pretty amazing in my opinion and people um are willing to pay a lot for this type of animations but let's just break down this reel and you can see that this is just super simple and super easy to make these type of reels and by the way, we, before we get uh, further, I just wanted to say that the projects of files are available to download for the tier 2 Patreon. You can check that out. The link is in the description. So I'm going to start with scene 01. And I already explained in the last video, which was the first breakdown. I usually start with the type first, and then I arrange the elements, and then I add the uh, camera or texture at the end. So it started all with the thinking which the font right now is um, the Harma Gothic E and the type is set on bold so you see that we have the big thinking and then a rocket will come up about the and it's about launching so the rocket itself is just uh, I downloaded from internet so what I've added was that I added the BCC halftone into it so that made it a, like an, it's a collage animation and it made it like a collage style and I have animated with a simple position keyframe that comes from down to up and same as the racket and it's just uh, animated simply by animating the position of the racket so as you see it, the movement is super simple and about the graphs I'm going to show it to you it's, it's just something like this and you'll see that the movements are really fluent and good and then once it was done I have uh, just changed into the second text which was launching now in here I did a pretty trick that I really like it and I see a lot of content creators do that when it comes to creating viral reel is that they're gonna duplicate the um, text one time and they're gonna turn off the stroke turn on the stroke and turn off the fill and then they're gonna arrange the elements they want they want to cover in between so as you see right now it's just gonna create something like this which I think it's pretty cool and this tiny detail can make a difference about your uh, animation now once the animation was done now it was time to add the background now the reason I decided to go with a pu uh, another I would say the green color for the background was that simply uh, we used a shade of uh, green in here and I would think it was mm, it, it could line up better with the uh, thing that we have and it's sort of uh, mm, I would say and the color was really matching with the text that I have in here and the rest of the elements you can always use the tint effect to make them sort of, sort of natural and this will not hurt your composition so every time that you see an element is not fitting your design you can just add a tint effect and make it black and white <laughs> and this will simply and fix the issue and in here when we move I have simply just added a film transition overlay to make this scene a bit better to emphasize it uh, a little bit uh, more and then we're gonna move towards the second scene which I think is pretty cool so in here as usual I, I have started with the text so your own and these were just animated by a simple position and scale so as you see I didn't really animate any um, you know rain selector or adding any property into the text it's just they were just animated simple by adding a 
position and scale as i have said this is just a simple simple animation that you can start and make your uh, make reels with it and but another cool trick that i have done in here was that i have decided to add an uh, sort of a collage uh, businessman in here to cover the text for the next scene so this was uh, something like this when it goes down we would have uh, would have a situation like this and as I, as always the colors were like this and i have to say to add a half tone to make it sort of like an collage style and in here again as you see we have a hand so let me just open the composition and again you will see that everything is done by just a simple position keyframe nothing in here is just made with an extra you know mm, or complicated effect everything in here is just super simple and then again i try to go with the color that is matching the overall design that we have in here which was i think blue so like sort of like this and then moving towards the next scene you will see that i have a neat solid marketing so here this was also simple i have decided to use them to animate it with simple position However, I have decided to add a fill effect and change the fill color to white once they show up to create a sort of, uh, you know, creativity, something like this. And then I have just showcased the, some of the recent works in here for the clients. And you can see that these are just showing up uh, frame by frame. And lastly, it's just again something, some of the coins popping up and then on the last scene as you see i have just uh, animated some coins with the help of the extrude plugin that i have explained a lot in my uh, recent tutorials you can watch that out and you can just basically select an image or anything and this will just use the index expression to copy them and place them in the time and this will give you an illusion of 3d and lastly they are just rotating by their simple orientation to create the feel of the movement now about the effects, I just basically use a shake effect, one grain that you see in here, and lastly I use the looks to color grade the uh, overall uh, mm, graphics in this composition. Now this mm, animation is very simple, I have already said it in the uh, beginning of the video, and if you want to make this type of animation to make money with it, it's pretty simple it's pretty straightforward process but if you want an in-depth tutorial you can just comment in depth and i will uh, make it from scratch to show you how easy it is to make this type of animation and here we are at the end of this video and i hope you have enjoyed it if you have enjoyed this video don't forget to leave out a like and subscribe for the channel as it would help me out a lot thank you so much goodbye